it today on a lovely August afternoon. This building is 1,000 years old. However, the problem is you have to pay to go inside. It's not free. Let's call the cathedral in London is the same problem. It's not free to go in. If this is a house of God, it should be free to go in. It's not free to go in because it's not the house of God. Indeed, the Bible, to go into the Jewish temple, it was free. You cannot charge people to enter into God's house. The Church of England have five billion pounds worth of property, stocks and shares. They are not a poor church. These people queue up here every day, all year round, to go in and see this wonderful scenery inside. When we talk about everlasting life, there is no money involved for this. It is a free gift. But you have to come to God the only way He has ordained. And He hasn't ordained it so you have to pay Him. He has done it for you with His own Son, Jesus Christ. The Bible says to enter into God's kingdom, you have to be perfect. Now, I'm not a perfect person, and I've never known anybody who was perfect. But one person who did live 2,000 years ago and was perfect was Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ came to earth, paid for the sins of the world. I doubt you'll hear that message preached in this cathedral here today. How can you be saved? You need to repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The problem is people like their lifestyle of sinning, lying, stealing, being taken Jesus' name as a cuss word. That is called blasphemy. That is a horrendous sin. You hear it every day of the week in the United Kingdom. People get angry, they get upset, and they say Jesus Christ. And you rarely hear them say Gordon Brown. You rarely hear them say George Bush. And you never hear them say Vladimir Putin. But you hear them say Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is despised. You were told this 700 years before Jesus was born, he would be despised. And he certainly is. I can assure you of that. I've been all over this country preaching and speaking to people and Jesus Christ is a very much despised person. The fact of the matter is you should be despised in God's eyes and I should be despised in God's eyes. But what God has done, he's made a way to reconcile people unto himself. And that is through his only son, Jesus Christ. If this church doesn't tell you this today, it's not a true church, it is a false church. And I would pray and hope that this wonderful day in August you would repent and come to the Lord Jesus Christ and God will certainly and most definitely save you. Trust in today and have everlasting life. But if you turn your back on God, reject the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Bible says you go to a place called hell, which is a literal, eternal place of burning, weeping away in the gnashing of teeth, it's a horrendous place. Indeed, Jesus Christ has weeping in hell 70 times in Please think what you've heard today, 150,000 people die every day, that's 7,000 people an hour. 150,000 people die every 24 hours a day. Don't be one of those people who die without Christ and without hope. You will not find everlasting life in this cathedral today, or you will find a very pretty stonery, very pretty building. That's about it, and you have to pay £9 to go in. Shame on the Church of England, it should be a free gift. People want to go in and see a wonderful building. Unfortunately, it's not free. You have to pay for it. But with everlasting life, it's already been paid for you. Thank you.